All right, James Conner comes in at number eight. Mike, you've got him up at seven. Yep. Jason has him at eight. I have him at ten. I have less confidence in James Conner going into, uh, well, his first season of as really being the guy. Now, last year he was the guy. First, first preseason being the guy. What do you mean? Because he was he ended up being the guy last year. Well, yeah, but he's looking over his shoulder the whole year. Or for a long a large every week a large part of Love it. Bell's coming back. I'm not saying he wasn't the guy on the field. I'm saying that there wasn't a uh, uh, the team hadn't put all their chips on him from day one. And that's the case this year. I mean, they're they're saying to James Conner, you're not a stand in, you're not a fill in, you're not uh Lev Bell light. We're not asking you to go do what he did. We're asking you to be you and be the starter. And he was great. He was dominant. Two fifteen, nine seventy three and twelve. Fifty five catches. How many is that? <laughs> Don't do that again. That was rough. It was sensual. Yeah, it was troubling. I hope that was not. Um, every mo- this morning it was uh, 55 degrees out. And the seven and the ten year old they both gave me oh. their best rendition. Um, when they asked Siri, Siri unfortunately has not oh, been Siri programmed. Can't. Oh, to, to Siri say. can't Sammy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on? I don't know. It's a good one. Uh, okay, so talk to me about James Conner. Where do you see his ceiling? Where do you see his floor? So James Conner's ceiling is the history of Mike Tomlin. That's that's his ceiling. The ceiling is we have a large enough body of work to say that whoever the running back is for Pittsburgh, they've got a great offensive line, great offensive system, is going to dominate for fantasy. They're not going to share the load. They're not going to seed carries to the back number two. When Lev Bell goes down and you know an old D'Angelo Williams comes in, it's just it's your show. When D Will went down, I forget who the back was at that uh, point. We did is that when we got the Fitzgerald? Toussaint? Yes, I think it was Fitzgerald Toussaint comes or in. It's like Toussaint, you're the apologies. guy. You're the guy completely. So that is what makes us go. Okay, James Conner should be an absolute one. Should be drafted with full confidence. But on the other side. Are it's it's not as it's not as you know the empirical evidence of Tomlin's history says James Conner will be the guy, but you also have to take into account Jalen Samuels last year was really good, and he is a better pass catcher. I mean, he was a I think classified as a tight end in right. college, and so and now they've got this situation where they shockingly fired their running backs coach. Um, who has been great for a long time. Well, he told him Le'Veon Bell and, was coming back. <laughs> yes, you're gone. He had to pay. And they, they replaced him with the college coach from Jalen Samuels' school in part because of how prepared Jalen Samuels was. They they thought he's a good coach because Jalen Samuels was completely prepped. He had a good teacher, and so that's part of why they brought him on. So now they've got a team – kind of doing a little bit of investment in Jalen Samuels. So there is worry. So you've got the it, empirical evidence versus the the speculative well, and, evidence. And two elephants are out of the room. I mean, that that needs to be mentioned. Last year, uh, Big Ben, uh, I think 5,000-plus yards, 5,129 right. yards. They led the league in pass attempts by 45. No more Antonio Brown. That'll come down. No more Lev Bell. That'll come down. And so I think what happens is I think you see efficiency decline. For James Conner this year. Possibly. And I think you hope that the the reliance on the running game, the offensive line, I think you hope that the, the volume can compensate for the efficiency. He played 13 games last year, Everything, and he had 12 touchdowns. Everything Does he to do me that again on that kind of a pace? To, sorry. Everything to me comes down to Jalen Samuels, what Jason was talking about. Because James Conner is the better runner, the better running back. But Jalen Samuels... He might have an edge on him when it comes to pass catching, but but Connor still saw that Le'Veon Bell target share, seventy one targets. I mean that that's serious business when you are going to be a workhorse running back, and that's why James Connor for me is number seven. If we knew for sure that it was just James Connor uh, inheriting everything and, and going right into full time Le'Veon Bell role, like I talk about with the Colts, I just want the Pittsburgh Steeler running back. He would actually be higher in my rankings. That's why he's down at seven for me. Hey, want to have a cup of coffee with me? Click subscribe. We'll hang out. We'll do it together. Make your team the best.